We write devices, mnemonic, so the professors won't think you're moronic. Learn Zimmer songs and you'll do us proud. Singing tunes while taking tests, but not out loud. Welcome to Zimmer Song 9. It's terrific. And now that you know all about glycolysis and the two net ATPs and two NADH plus H pluses it produces, let's pick up the story with pyruvic acid entering aerobic respiration. Aerobic? Oh. Uh, we pick up our tale with three reactions that prepare the pyruvic acid to enter the Krebs cycle, also known as the citric acid cycle or the tricarboxylic acid cycle. Tricarboxylic because citric acid it has three carboxyl groups. What are you doing? I want to make sure I have plenty of oxygen for this. You said it was aerobic respiration. Fine, but you're wearing it wrong. Oh. Anyway, the removal of a CO2 from a molecule is called decarboxylation, and that's the first of the three steps performed to prepare the pyruvic acid. Uh, this decreases the three-carbon pyruvate molecule down to a two-carbon intermediate. The second step is another oxidation by NAD+, like the ones we saw in glycolysis. You'll want to remember this because it will figure into our final tally of ATPs gained from the complete catabolism of a glucose molecule. Anyway, the oxidized two-carbon fragment is now called an acetyl group or acetic acid. The third and final preparatory step is to add coenzyme A uh, to that acetyl group, and now we call that acetyl-CoA. All right already, you're properly oxygenated. Aerobic respiration is hard. No kidding, but we've got a mnemonic device. And a song. To help you with the rest of this process. Acetyl-CoA joins with a molecule in the mitochondrial matrix called oxaloacetic acid, which itself contains four carbon atoms. The combination of the two makes a molecule of citric acid, which begins a series of reactions known as a turn of the citric acid cycle. Are you following this, Dr. Simmerline? Two carbons in acetyl-CoA, four in oxaloacetic acid, two plus four equals six carbons in citric acid. Yeah, right. Uh, now, do you happen to know the Mickey Mouse Club TV theme song? M-I-C-K-E-Y! Yes, yes, that one. Okay, well, we're, we're going to substitute the first letters of the Krebs cycle intermediates into this song. Listen as we go for four more oxidation reactions and two more decarboxylation reactions along the way. This will actually get us back down from six to four carbons, so we can pick up another two-carbon acetyl-CoA and do the whole thing again. And stay tuned after the song for a full accounting of all the ATPs made from the complete catabolism of a single glucose molecule. So, sing with us now. Krebs cycle intermediate aren't so hard to know. CIA, AKG, SSFMO, C for citric, I for ISO, A, alpha, keto, glutarate, A to great, SSFMO, succinyl, plus CoA, succinate, hip hooray, fumaric, malic, oxaloacetate, Krebs cycle 8, acetyl CoA joins the brain to make the cycle go. CIA, AKG, SSFMO, Marching round the circle, we lose atoms sequentially. CO2 there, hydrogen pair. Swipe by NAD plus. Count the carbons down from six, there's five in AKG. 
Repeat the thefts of what is left of four carbon series FAD. One only. NAD. That makes three. Plus substrate levels, phosphorylation. DTP. The hydrogens are dumped right in the electron transport chain to spin some base. And in that case, nine ATPs are gained. Prep cycle intermediates aren't so hard to know. CIA, AKG, SSFMO, C for citric, I for iso, A, alpha, ketone, glutarate, A to grade, SSFMO, succinyl, plus coa, succinate, hip hooray, fumaric, malic, oxaloacetate, prep cycle, H. Keep in mind that this whole run happens twice per glucose show. CIA, AKG, SSFMO, Let's tally up those ATPs. Okay, we got two net ATPs from the glucose molecule during glycolysis, along with two NADH plus H pluses. The NADH plus H pluses are worth two and a half ATPs each. If oxygen is around, so the electron transport chain can do its thing. Otherwise, we'll end up doing anaerobic fermentation and making lactic acid instead. Well, I'm full up on oxygen, remember? So, two times two and a half equals five, plus the two net ATPs, giving us seven so far. Okay, glycolysis made us two pyruvic acid molecules, and each of these underwent the pyruvate preparation steps, including an oxidation to give us another NADH plus H plus each. Okay, so that's two and a half times two equals five more ATPs. I don't have enough fingers. Here, you can borrow two of mine. Thank you. So that makes 12 ATP so far. When we make a turn around the Krebs cycle, we get three more NADH plus H pluses and one FADH2. The FADH2 is worth one and a half ATPs in the electron transport chain. So that's three times 2.5 is 7.5 ATPs, plus the 1.5 giving us nine ATPs. Don't forget GTP, made by substrate level phosphorylation. Oh, I love that one. So that makes 10 ATPs total from a Krebs turn. And two acetyl-CoA's enter the Krebs cycle per glucose, so that's 20. Add in the 12 from before, and we end up with a grand total of... 32 ATPs per, per glucose, glucose molecule. molecule. Ta-da! Phew, I think we were way more ATPs than that during this tally. Here, have some glucose. Oh, wait, thank you. Oxygen? Don't mind if I do. Wait a minute, I wonder if you can hear me out. Do you have a message? Do you have a message? Donald, it's not the crab cycle. Come on. 